Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we are going to be painting Squirrel Girl from Marvel Crisis Protocol. So I didn't, you may notice that I didn't slap chop her and we might do some of that later but we start off with Pale Flesh to get all her skin done. I mean we're definitely going to do it later but for now gonna paint all her skin. And a couple coats. I don't know how she plays in Marvel Crisis Protocol, but I like the jokiness of the character, the idea. So I thought I'd grab the kit and maybe see how she plays. She hasn't had any balance um, changes or anything to her, so that means she's probably in a decent spot. Um, I play the Avengers, so she'll fit on the team. And. We'll just see what happens from there. So we're just doing some thin coats. Of our pale flesh onto her. And we'll let it dry. And then we'll move to another section while it's drying. Probably the, the slap choppiness we'll get on. So let's get all this coated. Make sure we get the back of her neck as well. It's gonna get it's gonna get all over this jacket, so which is fine. And I have a dog running all over the place. Okay. So now we can do start the second coat. If it's dry enough, we'll see. Hey, we eaten. So we started with this arm, so we're gonna continue with this arm. We just wanna get all over. We want it to be not transparent anymore. We want it to be a solid, consistent color. So it's definitely not quite there yet with two coats, so we might have to go more. But that's fine. We are prepared for that instance. Or if you want to skip all this, you can just slap chop the whole thing and then use the dark oath, or not dark oath, flesh. Reichland, not Reichland, what the fuck is it? It is one of these ones down here. Um, you know, it's one of these, oh, oh Gilliman's flesh. You can go with Gilliman flesh uh, contrast paint over it. That'll work. 
as well. But I feel like maybe recently I've gotten a little steel in my painting. I've been relying too much on contrasts. So I'm just gonna try some different stuff here. Just try kind of just thinning our paints better and see what happens. It's really dry here, so my paint's probably pretty dry at this point. And we're just gonna go get those areas again. Just make it nice and smooth. Now we can do our slappy choppy, medium sea gray. Get our uh, brush that we can use as a dry brush here. And then we're gonna get pretty much the suit here, and the jacket, the squirrel, I'm going to get all of that. The belt, the tail, the boots, Tail here. The hair. Now really quick, we're gonna take a black just to go over those areas that we got that flesh tone on that we do not want on our pieces. So, especially like right here on the collar, get some on the squirrel. I'm gonna clean up these leaves a bit. You don't have to do too much because the wash will take care of some of it, but we just want to clean up these areas a bit. So let's get there. Now we go to our matte white. And then we dry brush this on. But actually, let's wait a little bit for that stuff to dry. But while we wait, we can take our gray and then we can do our base because we know how to do our bases. We're just kind of lightly going 
over the concrete with the gray here. Same thing with this like rock where it's kind of heavily dry brush it. Get that this brush all dry and we'll take our white wipe it off and then we'll dry brush the the rest of her the hair, get the squirrel, the boots, And the tail. Okay. So now she's pretty prepped. Um, now that we can get her their skin with the Reichlin Flush Shade, we're just going to wash it, do an all over wash on the skin. So we get the face, Don't worry if it's like looks too heavy, we're gonna go over it with the, the original color later once it's dried. Okay, now we can start on her clothes. So we're gonna go with a blue gray for her leggings. It's just like a really dark gray right here. It's like a cooler tone to it. Make sure you're thinning that paint so you don't get any clumps and it's just smooth.
Okay, so that's her leggings there. The base coats, anyway. Now for the uniform, we're gonna go with Gorgonta fur. And it's gonna be also the fur on the tail as well. So, let's get a nice brush here, but not too nice. Um, let's put it on. And gently move it around, trying to avoid the belt. It's okay if we get the little, the little fur bits, because we will be using a regular paint over those, so that's fine. But just for this part, try to keep, oops, as I say, try to be careful I mess up because I thought that was part of the jacket it was not it's fine we'll get the jacket here you see that we put a little too much there but we can just take it off our brush then and then go through the model by moving that pot puddle around it's gonna help us Let's keep it kind of light, but not too light. Get this squirrel as well here. We'll have to do some fixes to it, but just temporary, that's what it's gonna look like. get kind of the top of the tail and we're kind of keeping it light here like that Let's also get this squirrel, continue to get the squirrel here. Okay. And we're gonna switch to just a smaller brush here. Let's get a little bit so we can get the, the ears. The boots brown, the boots are brown. So we're gonna also get the boots with this. Tail, just so it's consistent and we can fix it. Okay. Oh, even the shirt is brown. Go figure. Um, but we're gonna use a smaller brush just to. of the, the dark lines here so just like this it's 
just like that. So that's that part all done. I think there's parts of, what color is her hair? Don't tell me it's brown, it's brown. So the hair's also this color. So we're just gonna coat it and then we'll worry about it later with highlights. Because there's a lot of similar colors on this model. We want to try to break it up so that they look a little different at least. That's it for now. You okay? And then we're gonna get German Camel Beige World War II for her fur. Don't don't shove the puppy in. Don't Why? shove the puppy in. I was gonna show a celebrity. She's not a good girl. She will eat the model. Oops. Oops. I dropped her. Animal abuse. No. So now we're gonna get these little fur patches on her. You know who also has fur? Or doggy. Yeah. Can I show her a little? I don't know if she's going to show up. Okay. Get this issue, like this. Hello, internet. The, the, the doggy is... Ah. No ring. She's single. Gross. <laughs> it's too close. I can't see her, but just know that the, his doggy's very cute. <laughs> you okay. And we're just going to continue to fill in that fur with this German camo beige. Even on the boots here. I mean, it's probably like a no doy situation, but this one is your Newton brush is pretty good. It's got a nice point to it. I've never used like these fancy brushes before. I usually just get my brushes at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels and just deal with what they are. But the point on this is definitely a lot better than the points that I'm used to dealing with. Um, so yeah, it's maybe worth the little, the little extra that you pay. It's not like crazy more expensive for these brushes. They're like, they're definitely, um, what's it called? Affordable. Um, so maybe if you're, ha if you're getting tired of using the, the cheapo brushes, maybe consider trying these out. This is a Winsor & Newton uh, one, number one round. They also have, I think I have a double zero um, for the really small ones. But I haven't used it yet. I've only used this one right now so far. Gets the job done. Okay, and then for the squirrel, we'll kind of just kind of get up on his belly a little bit. Maybe like under his. Maybe like the top of his head. I don't really know what squirrels look like. Just adding some variation of color to him. Same thing for her hair. 
we'll just put some of the colors in there. And then you want to do that especially here. So just get your brush all nice and pointy. And just do like a couple. Ooh, not that big. And just take a couple swipes at it and just give it some more varied colors, as it were. Same here for the tail on the little guy. And they have some black in their tails if you want to take that black that blue gray that we did earlier and just also put like a little bit in there just like mm, now it's not dark enough maybe this black brown you can take that in And then just kind of go between some areas here and there. I'm gonna give it some little extra dots here and there just to sell the whole squirrel thing a little better. You can also put black on the bottom of these shoes. Now let's take some leather brown. Actually, no, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something I haven't done. We're gonna take this Gorgonta fur. We're gonna put it on our palette. And we're gonna mix it with some white to create a highlight. So let's get our white. Put a little bit down, and we can take some of the white here. Okay. Hey, and then we'll just kind of highlight some of the areas here especially the higher up pieces, the collars. Maybe like the leg there, top of this arm. Just a little bit on top of the squirrel maybe, some more here. Some more colors in here, some hair, even get the top of the ears here. And then you can go back onto the boots here a little bit. get our Imperial Fist yellow for her belt. I 
I use a different brush because this one looks too big. Use, I'll just use this one. Forget it. Just getting the back of it here. Now we can take a brown wash, the Agrax Earth Shade, and get the little fur bits and some of the darker spots of the brown if we want to. So just like getting those. This brush is too big. Gonna make a mess. The boots. The squirrel. You can get like some of her hair up here. And then we'll get like in here. Just to kind of separate it. Some more. Then we'll take a blue wash, Dreckenhoff Nightshade, for the leggings to give it a little bit of a blue tint to it. So that'll fix her pants. And now we can go back into the face with our original color of the pale flesh to help bring it out a little bit more. Just on the high spots, like the forehead, the nose, the cheeks, the, chin, the bottom of the chin. So there, and I just spilled into her eye, which is fine. And then we get the arms as well, get the tops. Just getting the spots that are facing upwards towards the light, get the fingers.
Now the chest here. Kind of flatten it out. And we'll see if we can fix the eye with some white. On both sides here. Good. Mm, it's a nightmare. We can maybe fix it with some flesh though, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. And we'll get our, our black that we put down to dot the eye. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. Now you can see why I don't really do faces. And then we'll try to clean up around it now with this flesh color. Like that. Like that. And then we'll get the Reichlin flesh again. And hopefully this will bring it back down. Not terrible, but not great either. This eye. Got a little too close there. And we'll put a little heavier dose of it in that little nose crack there. Oof. I think that's gonna call it for our squirrel girl here. She's got a little bit of a, you know what? No, we're not gonna do that to you guys. We're just gonna not do the eyes like normal because this looks a bad. So I'd rather just have the eyes be blank. Let that dry for a second and we'll get the flush shade and put it back over the top. And that'll give us our little indents and stuff here. So like, <laughs> she's everywhere, her eye. We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna blow on it. Hey, Poopy, what are you doing? Hey. Hey. Doggy, what are you doing? What are you doing? So now that we have her face, her face properly smudged. We can just, cool, just undo that whole thing. Well, this isn't going great. Might just have to redo the whole face.
get my doggo because she's being weird. Bark, 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 bark. Sorry. Normal people would probably cut there, but you know, I'm giving you the whole experience. You can still even see the, the paint here from the... Is this her ear here? I think it might be. Or those like pigtails. I think they're like pigtails. So while that's drying, maybe we can take a little orange and put it in her hair as well. It's Griffhound orange. Just to help change the colors here. I want it to be a little bit different than the whole thing. We can get those pigtails that we just got too. Too much there. Take this cord around to her back. Darken that. Let me close this. This is getting a little too intense. Now the face better be good. And then we can just put this over the face. And then go back to our pale flesh one last time. get the nose, the cheek, the chin, the forehead, And then we'll call it before we ruin it even more. So that's how we're gonna paint Squirrel Girl. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That looks really bad. <laughs> um, hopefully, you did better than that. You know, maybe you just trusted yourself the first time. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.